how do I kickstart the digital transformation of my company? So this was the theme of a workshop the other day uh, with a mid-sized contractor. So the company's management team had taken, let's build a CDML. Uh, it's a construction digital maturity survey. And it's an analysis tool that's free for everyone. It's out there and it works as an entry point to measure where you are. And it works as a stepping stone for the subsequent workshop that we had. So if you're interested in doing the same, just follow the link that we're inserting here below. And then you can spend approximately eight minutes filling it out. But back to the original question on how do I actually start this journey? Of course, it's going to be uh, pretty tough to transfer the whole workshop into this uh, three and a half minute video. But I wanted to summarize the three main topics that we worked through, um, just to give you an idea about how it summed up. And it corresponds very well with what Boston Consulting Group also summarized the other day when they were talking about the digital transformation uh, that is facing global companies. Boiled down, we worked on three main themes. So the first theme uh, was, this is a journey without an end station. And as a navigator, you have to accept that you have limited experience in the journey, but there are a few things to remember. Digital transformation equals business transformation. Don't make the mistake of having an isolated digital strategy. It's not a tick box. Look at the whole value chain of your company. Um, and from that value chain, select five to 10 lighthouse projects, sponsor them on sea level, initiate and track them. Look at where the biggest impact is. Is it new business? Is it added efficiency? Is it reduction of cost? Again, BCG's Global Insight says that more than two thirds of the biggest impact is actually on reduction of costs. The second theme was, so how do you use employee motivation as a competitive advantage? While you, of course, need to work with your existing workforce, you need to upgrade the digital skills they have, you also have to secure new talent for this journey. And digital talent is scarce. And it's even more scarce in construction, actually. Um, in 2020, so just one year from now, 30% of all the tech positions that are vacant will not be able to be filled. So you really need to make absolutely sure that you as a company are able to attract and maintain digital talent. And remember that young talent, they're not motivated solely by salary and title. So attracting them will require that you have a closer look on how you position your company and how you position the job concept that they're facing. And then the last theme, so theme number three, step up and assume responsibility for the sustainability within the society that you're operating, within the sustainability of your company and how Digital Journey actually supports this. It's pure business sense, I know, but it also reflects back to point number two on how to attract future talent. And it is going to be a very strong factor in who emerges as the strongest companies when we're looking at ahead. As an industry where we produce 30% of the global waste, and added to that, we're still dependent on natural resources that are running up, uh, sorry, running out. The ability to transform our current way of working can become a huge competitive advantage. So in summary, it's a journey without an end station. It's about attracting talent and it's using sustainability as a competitive advantage. That was the three main themes or takeaways that we worked on.